Hello there! In this video, we are going to discuss about motion. Motion is the change in position for a particular time interval. If a body has changed its position, we can say that it has moved with respect to its original position. Thus, the original position serves as the reference point. But what is reference point? Reference point is a place or object used for comparison to determine if something is in motion. Object must be fixed relative to the earth, such as building, tree, or a sign. An object may be moving with respect to another reference. For example, when you are inside the bus. Motion can be described by measuring the total length of path travel by an object. Okay, for example, to solve for the total length of path traveled, simply add the path from A to B, B to C, and then C to D. So the total length of path is 250 meters. The length of the entire path that the car traveled is referred to as distance. Based on the above scenario, the total length of path is 250 meters. This means that the distance traveled by the car is 250 meters. Let's talk about displacement. Displacement is the shortest distance between the object's initial and final positions. See illustration above. Based on the given illustration, the displacement is 50 meters. Let us have another example for displacement. Above scenario illustrates a car just go back to its original or initial position. So what is its displacement? Correct, zero. It is because displacement refers to the shortest distance between initial and final position. What is the difference between distance and displacement? Distance is the total length of path while displacement is the distance between the initial position and final position. Distance is a scalar quantity, while displacement is a vector quantity. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something. Until next video, bye-bye!